Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I mean, it's funny actually. Anyone who knows me will know I, I love a good track. I'm not going to lie. I mean, that's not very trendy to say it. Not at the moment, I think, since it's really almost taboo. Isn't it? but I, I do, but I think um, I think it has gone a bit mad. And to track children within an inch of their life isn't necessarily helpful. Mm-hmm. I think from my perspective, you've got to ask yourself, why am I tracking? For what purpose? Yeah. And I think, you know, I, I was a Senko. And for me, I will track children to make sure that they're okay and as soon as any child is not okay then i need is the so what so why are you tracking so what are you tracking for Mm -hmm. if it is to flag up the children who need extra support great but if it's just another because ofsted literally will not look at it Mm -hmm. if it's to make some diagnostic stuff around what you're doing You know, like, oh, my gosh, all the boys um, are really, really rubbish at, I don't know, bicycling. I don't know, I'm making that up. Physical development. All the boys are rubbish at physical development. What has happened? Mm -hmm. That's that's when it's helpful because then you can look at your provision and go, what have we done wrong that the boys are not accessing the – are not accessing what's on offer or is what's on offer suitable for those boys? Or, or, or are there high numbers of children who live in flats and they don't have the same access to outdoors that other children have? So what can we do next? And it's always about, so what? Mm-hmm. So what are you going to do with the information you get from the tracking? Exactly. Who are you doing it for? Mm-hmm. If it's for the purpose of improving your, your provision to, to improve the children's outcomes, that's one thing. If it's for the sake of it, because someone thinks up, up the top that, they, that that's what you need, that's rubbish. Yeah. So it's just finding that meaning behind it and that purpose. Yeah, I think it's all about meaning. And I think I think the government, there's been a move away from this exceeding yes. thing, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like on track or needing support. And certainly with the birth to five, the ranges, they're very broad. Um but I think the most important thing is, is if you think a child needs extra support, you you intervene early. Yeah. I would say that because I used to be a children's centre teacher, <laughs> early intervention. But I think, I mean, it is true. I think the earlier you intervene, the better for the child. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's, it's really interesting to talk about tracking because I really do think that it's a thing that people keep coming back to. So it's nice to yeah. hear from you exactly your thoughts on it and the kind of purpose behind it. Yeah, I mean, I think there will be people that disagree with me, mind. So I'm not, you know, I'm not God. I'm not, I'm not, I don't, you know, I'm just saying what I think. Of course. But, uh, you know, that, that would be my, my position. And having said that, I like a good track. I mean, I like, I like to be able to have demonstrable outcomes because that's the other thing, you know, working, working for some organisations, you need to have demonstrable outcomes. If you're a commissioned organisation, yeah. you've got commissioners that say, so what, what, what difference are you making to this child? So for some people, tracking might be important for their you know if you're working as a commission service to payment by results i mean i'm not saying that there are but there might be mm-hmm. uh, then you will have to track children because you've got to be able to demonstrate to your commissioners what difference you're making yeah, the but if you're just if you're, if you're just working for ofsted or you know or you're thinking that ofsted won't be looking at that mm-hmm. 